So basically, uh, I don't know if you guys have you already uh, deal with uh, Spark and TensorFlow. So basically, if, if you have, uh, you figure out that the par a parquet file is not compatible with, ten with TensorFlow framework. So for that, there, there are some workarounds that uh, we will explore, and after uh, I will give you some suggestions to, to have a look on. So basically, uh, the infrastructure that I'm going to present is like uh, you have a Spark, a Spark cluster. So uh, a Spark cluster is, is, to, is mainly to do uh, pre-processing uh, data at scale. And after you, uh, you have a GPU server, which is uh, separate from, uh, from the Spark cluster, and basically is, is more for model training, for, especially for deep neural network. So here is a kind of a stack for data science. Uh, so NVIDIA is, like the, is the provider for the GPUs. Anaconda is like the, the, Python, the Python packages. Uh, TensorFlow is the framework made, uh, developed by Google uh, for deep learning, especially. And PySpark uh, is an is open source project from uh, the Apache Foundation for, to, to preprocess the data. Uh, so basically, how what, what is the cycle uh, to, to deal with uh, from a parquet file to, in, to ingest it in a TensorFlow model? So basically, uh, you first, you, you generate a parquet file uh, so where you are, you are happy with your data, how you have been pre-processed your data. And uh, after that, what you want to do is use those data uh, to, 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 uh, to for, for the model training. So for that, you need to, to move your data. So basically, uh, if, the, if you have nothing between the two servers, you can use uh, air, air synchronization. But after you can uh, you can build a, a, an, an an architecture like you can put an NAS appliance on the GPU server and uh, mount mount from uh, NFS protocol to the Spark cluster. So like that you can uh, see your data both on the GPU server and on the part Spark cluster. Um, so for that, uh, when once the Spark file are available on the GPU server, what you can use is uh, Arrow. So Arrow basically is like. Uh, as, 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 I see, as we see before, is a cross-language development platform for in-memory data. So wha what is nice as well is that it's, like, it's a bit like parquet file, it's a, a column-oriented, column and uh, it's optimized uh, with a, a, back, a C++ uh, backend libraries. So for that, what, what we are going to use is a, is a, is a parquet.free table. So basically, uh, you map your parquet file into an into a arrow data structure. And uh, once you have done that, what you can use is the is the two, the two panda function that you can map uh, on a opti opti um, <coughs> opti the optimally um, the the arrow data structure into a, a, a panda data frame. But it's not really a panda; it's both is a kind of pandas and a numpy array because maybe as you know, uh, the backend of pandas is a numpy array. So after after that, you can you can use uh, you can use it. Uh, for, for your TensorFlow model by using uh, the feeding feature. So as some of you knows, the feeding feature is more for, uh, tes for <coughs> testing or, explore, ex or, or to explore. It's, it's not very uh, well optimized for that. If you want to do a TensorFlow model uh, at, at production scale, you need to use a TensorFlow record file. So for that, uh, basically, uh, you, you have tools, a nice tool that has been developed. So the first one has been developed by uh, Uber. And the, the second one, I think, is from TensorFlow. I'm not sure. So basically, uh, how does it work? Uh, the second one first, it's, it's nice because you can convert easily a parquet file into a, a TF uh, record file. But after, you don't have a, a lot of features to manage your TF record file. With Peterstam, what you can do, basically, is uh, you, ca you can map it as a TF record file. But as well, you, you have like some nice API to use with TensorFlow, PyTorch, and pure Python, Python console. I recommend to have a look on that. Uh, after that, I just wanted to show you some uh, code, but I don't have access to the Wi-Fi, so it will be a static uh, presentation. I don't know if it is uh, under a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, I, I using Kafka instead of AirSync. So basically, uh, I have a Kafka service which is running on, on the Spark cluster, and uh, what we can see the uh, on the GPU server that can see uh, the, the the Spark cluster, and so basically. Uh, I have a Kafka producer, so, so this is where the, the data are coming from. And uh, so I'm using a parquet file, this kind of parquet file. So, and after, I'm using a Kafka consumer, which is running on the, G, on the GPU server. And uh, basically, uh, through this, I can, uh, I can uh, send the data uh, 
very quickly between the two servers. So you can see here's my features and, uh, and, my, and my label at the end. And I can uh, find back uh, the data. And uh, here is just to, to show something quickly. You can map your, your parquet file into a, into a TensorFlow record file. So the data structure is, is, the, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a dot proto file. It's like a serialization made by Google to, to ingest your data opti, 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 to optimize your, the, the, feed, uh, the feeding of your data in your TensorFlow model. So this is a, a proto uh, data structure. Florian will be in the pub afterwards uh, if you've got any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Um, so we've got two, uh, two community announcers, I think, uh, were brewing in the background. There was one at the back. You went very emphatic. Please go ahead, sir. Hi. Um, I'm Jason, and I work at Valtech. Uh, we run a monthly meetup called the Agile Data Meetup, and the next one is one week on Thursday. And the two speakers are Matthew Roderick, and the title of his talk is Energy Data is Finally Open to Innovators, which is all about smart meter data. And the second speaker is Phil Marshall, and it's called A Moment in Time Captured. And that's about a very high-resolution 360-degree camera with light depth that's used at crime scenes and things like that. And that will make you think about the amount of data that you've got to do machine learning on. So come along to that week on Thursday, and it's near Angel Tube, just about a five-minute walk from there. Okay, feel free to post that into the discussion group uh, on the Meetup channel. And there was one down there somewhere. Please go ahead. Okay, post that into the discussion group, please. Uh, and Pav, a uh, quick final one. Hi, very quickly, if you are looking for a Python job, uh, have a look at the link that I sent in the uh, Meetup comments. Oh, well, there you go. That was uh, very short and sweet. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so, um, in a moment, we will go on to the pub, uh, and you're welcome to come and join us for continued conversation. Um, first of all, uh, I'm going to ask my uh, fellow volunteers and speakers, um, uh, and Mark and any other core contributors, to stand up for a round of applause, and AHL staff, so Guillaume as well, please, uh, stand up. So, speakers and volunteers... <laughs> Brilliant. Always thank you, volunteers. Always thank you, speakers. Uh, if you come to the pub, uh, offer to buy them a beer uh, or a soft drink, whatever they want. Uh, it's a good thing to do. Um, somewhere floating around are my green stars. Can I have them back, please? Can they come down to the front? <laughs> I've lost track of those. Um, do we have any other announcers we need to make? Uh, so we're good. So if uh, you want to join the, uh, yeah. the first... Oh, Emmanuel, go on. Quickly, what is it? Uh, very quickly. Are oh, you doing a community? Go for it, yeah. Perfect. Will he be in the pub afterwards, Emmanuel? Yeah, I will be, yeah, for all right. both things. Uh, and Emmanuel was nicely visible in his uh, red jacket. Uh, all right, uh, so uh, we'll go on to the pub. It's the banker. Um, hit the Thames, turn right, five-minute walk along, follow the group of us, uh, and then uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.